Hello everyone, welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video. This is Joey Plays and Build, where we play and build a T-Rex habitat. But before we get to that, I want to thank Jacob the Exwaddle for naming this beautiful Dinochirus Perry the Platypus. I remember watching Phineas and Ferb. It, it was one of my childhood cartoons. Oh man. Oh, man, it's just like last year I've been watching that, you know, when I was 11, 12 years old. Dang, how time flies. But anyways, speaking of Jacob, thank you, Jacob. Jacob also suggests having a T-Rex here, and I really do love that idea. The problem is, though, we have little guys here is going to start panicking, and I already have a lot of problems with them because they they panic a lot because they're next to a Jehovah's. Just imagine a T-Rex here. Yeah, it's going to be hectic. So I decided to create another habitat, a nice looking habitat for them. Also, I have another comment, I think, from Jacob as well. It's like, why not having, you know, since I love using, yes, the, the Pennsylvania trees are my favorite trees in the game. I, I can't front. I love it. And he said, why not use it on a Pennsylvania map so it's much easier? And I do agree. The problem is, the Pennsylvania map doesn't have a square map. Uh, trust me, I know. If I want a Pennsylvania map, a square map with Pennsylvania, I will get it for sure. No doubt about it. But since Pennsylvania doesn't have it, we're stuck with my second favorite map, which is the California one. So, uh, you guys would already know by the title and i already mentioned we're gonna build a t-rex habitat i think it's about time i haven't made a t-rex habitat in a long while and it's going to be a different biome which means it's not gonna have my favorite pennsylvania trees and all of that good jazz it's gonna be a different different type of biome than this and i want it somewhere far from here because I don't know if you've seen it. It's getting a little laggy here. I don't know if I could. Anyways, we're wasting time. So I have it all the way here. I feel like this is a good place. A T-Rex is usually the the main event for your park. You know, like the lions and the elephants and the tigers. They're usually at the back of the park. I think it's much fitting that we're going to have a T-Rex habitat here. And the biome that I want in this habitat is... None other than the tropical habitat. So we're going to use some of these palm trees. We're going to use, where do we have it here? Yes, the tropical. We're going to use tropical trees such as this, more palm string. And it's just going to be covered with these type of trees. These are the trees are we going to use in this area. Also, I'm thinking about adding four more dinosaurs into this tropical environment i'm thinking of velociraptor i'm thinking brachiosaurus mostly all the famous jurassic world dinosaurs so that is the video for today we are gonna build a t-rex habitat in this area so let's get started here Okay, first and foremost, before we start building the habitat, we have to make an entrance. And since this is a Tyrannosaurus, it has to be grand. It has to be huge and majestic. And of course, the only thing that we have here that can represent that majesticness of the Tyrannosaurus is the classic Jurassic Park gate. No, not Jurassic World. The Jurassic Park Please, come on. Here we go. Okay, so we have our gate ready. Of course, to get into the park, I think it is more much settling is going to be a tour through here. Once you start stop to the tour, then you have your, you know, your amenities and whatnot and your shopping, and then you go straight into the actual habitat. I think that would be the plan. Let's get on to building it. So one thing about the T-Rex habitat, it's have to be its own unique thing, like its own unique attraction. 
exclusive only for the T-Rex because, of course, it's a Tyrannosaurus. It's the most popular dinosaur to this day and will still be the king of all dinosaurs. So I want to make a little outlet for the T-Rex and the T-Rex alone. It's shopping, merchandise, restaurants. So I, I felt like that's something that I have not done in uh, um, one of my park builds. It's have this inclusive enclose specifically for the t-rex which i did here and i want it into a an island just one big exhibit that is far away from the rest of the park and you'll see in this little time lapse that i cover the whole area with water so it feels like you have to work your way into the exhibit what I mean by work is going into a Jeep, which uh, we don't have any boats uh, or any of those good stuff. So a Jeep is perfectly fine for it. Also, I'm, I'm using a lot of sand because I know that T-Rex loves sand. So you get the feeling where you're going to go hit. Now, this is just the entrance, but I'm going to build the habitat. I want to base the habitat on the Lost World Jurassic Park. Because right there, it's it's on Isla Sorna. And whenever I think of Isla Sorna, I think of this dark, lush, scary jungle that is, that is covered with trees. And you don't know what to expect. What creature is there? And the only viewing gallery to see the T-Rex is none other than the log. I love the log. Uh, it, it, it's kind of like, you have to add it. You know what I mean? If you're going to make a T-Rex, the law gallery makes sense. I don't know. But here's the, the premise, the base of it. And I want to do it live, but I feel like the video is going to be like 30 minutes long. So a little speed run will possibly just to catch up where I'm at right now. But yeah, and we're going to go to in-game and we're just going to build the T-Rex habitat that I have envisioned. Hopefully you guys join me with this ride. And yeah. We'll see you there. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. The log. The viewing log. Of course. Of course. This is like what people wanted in their T-Rex park, right? So, this is the only time you will view the dinosaur. So, I think right here, right in the corner would be fine. So, let's just pop that bad boy. And we're just going to connect it right over there. Good. Then we'll just add a nice looking path. Just pop it in there. I said just pop it in there. This one's in the way. And we'll just bring up a sign right over here. There you go. T-Rex in uh, viewing is just around here. So we got ourselves uh, T-Rex habitat. Hopefully it's big enough. I want two. And I want it to based on the Lost World Jurassic Park. I know it's redundant. I feel like everybody has done it already. And I want the Buck and Doe because I feel like those are my two favorite T-Rexes in the, the whole franchise. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we're going to do. First, let's add the water. So let's have a lovely lovely stream here okay Ooh. all right and hold up let's move this for a bit because i want to higher up the terrain here let's flatten that a bit land here a bit okay nice and we'll bring this log back up okay let's connect it okay now we got ourselves a little I don't know pride rock vibe we're going that's that's how i I've, i'm envisioning uh i don't know lion king it's 
it is it just anonymous how whenever like I've seen every Planet Zoo video and it's always you have a lion you need a you, need, you just got to do a pride rock I feel like same thing with the T-Rex right it's just got to do it however my pride rock isn't really prideful enough but hey, that's that's how it goes let's get some dirt here all right and a little bit of sand because these guys love their sand and we're also gonna have sand here in the stream stream And what better view of seeing our lovely T-Rex eating is right in front of their log. Let's add a little bit more paint. Let's add some dirt. Let's have some dirt here. All right, okay. My game is starting to lag and I know why. Sorry guys, I, I, I have to close the park. I have to close the park. It's not gonna be open until everything is is up and ready. I I honestly don't know how my game is gonna gonna react. To be quite honest, with I have so much stuff cramped in. A lot of people say that I need to stop using a lot of decoration, but why would I? I love my decorations, but. I feel like it's the point where the PS5, PS5 is not as strong enough anymore. So let's get busy and place with these tropical trees. I'm also going to use these tall redwood like trees. So we could place them up here. And I'm also going to use these alpine swamp-like trees right into their the little river. So some right here. So you get the whole point. Also, I'm going to use some ground fiber. You already know me with my ground fiber. Always love these guys. And some Tepesky. So possibly right here. So these are the foliage that I'm going to use possibly the most into this habitat. And I will show that once I'm done building this. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed, but in this map, there's like wild animals would holler around in the back in the background right so when i was building this habitat a wolf howled and that right there that actually gave me the chills that i got up from my chair took off my headphones and look around me because it was so close to my ear that it got me like i am having goosebumps right now i love that little little detail into this game i have never heard a howl like that in this game but like you can hear gooses like this is incredible again i only use like five decorative trees of foliage of course you can't live without the bush you need to have the bush i have the the leaf climbers here and the ground fibers the lily pads is a good touch with your stream Makes it more little realistic, more natural. Of course, the swamp trees from the Biosyn map gives a little touch of your habitats. And the redwood, again, kind of put in a little bit of variety into your, your habitat. And of course, you have your little T-Rex hill. This is where the T-Rex mostly love to chill. You have soft sand for them to like lay around, take a nap and all that stuff. You have their food. 
and of course the viewing gallery the only the only area where the guests can actually see the the tyrannosaurus rexes and there you go there's the habitat i try to no go overboard with the decorations because i don't want the game to lag on me hopefully we get that patched up ready to go but without further ado let's go bring in our buck and our dough and i thought i i i thought i closed the park why does it keep opening makes the game lagging for me okay not yet people not yet okay um i believe this is the dough so let's see What a grand entrance. Oh. This is the dough, right? Your future and our past. I'm Claire Deering. I used to be management. All right, let's arrived. bring in the more of an advocate. The other one. John Hammond wanted a world with dinosaurs. I think this is the I buck. To take care of them. I hope you do as well. Beautiful. Even people who don't know the difference between herbivore and carnivore know all about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And when you see her up close, feel her Look at face, that. you understand why the T-Rex was the so ruler this is the of bee. the Cretaceous period. Okay, help me out, Jurassic World fans. Is this the buck or the doe? I think the doe is the green one, right? I'm not sure, but... <laughs> okay, so we should be good. The forest, they don't really need a lot of forest. They don't really need a lot of sand, so... Oh, prey. We need prey, so we're gonna give them their little goat. And we should be good. Let's go ahead and bring in our T-Rex to their habitat. Okay, our T-Rex is in their enclosure, and you can hear them now. You can hear them roaring. I'm so excited. So let's waste, not waste any time, and let's get into their enclosure. So the only way to get into their enclosure is to cross their lake, the only exhibit that is far away from the rest of the park. Then you drop over here to their little outlet. They have some T-Rex burgers, some tacos, some merchandise to to see and you go into the only exhibit here into the viewing log you go under the tunnel and right here is the only way you could see our lovely t-rex their food is right smack in the middle so you could see them eating but where are our lovelies so there is one of them and please guys tell me who which is which which one is the brown one and which is the green one? Oh, look at that view. Oh, that's a beautiful dinosaur. It has this iconic look. Okay, so that's one of them. But where is our second one? Okay, I found the green one. I was following the brown one all along. But yeah, there they are. Our Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay, guys, this is the habitat build for the two Buck and Doe Tyrannosaurus Rex. Give it a like if you like the habitat. Subscribe to see more Jurassic World Evolution 2 builds. And yeah, this is all I have for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next build. Thank you guys for watching.